Number three, people. New Super Mario Bros. 3. I mean, two. Yes, the subject of today's video is none other than New Super Mario Bros. 2. In this Gold Rush game, Mario must once again traverse across many different levels, making his way to Bowser to defeat him in a boss battle and rescue Princess Peach from his evil clutches. In terms of new stuff, this game doesn't have that much to offer, apart from the gold block, but this is made up for by its levels. New Super Mario Bros. 2 has quite a few really fun and unique levels that anyone can enjoy. And as you should know by now, I'm counting down my top 5 favorite New Super Mario Bros. 2 levels. My opinion and no one else's always remember that. That's all for this intro, so let's go! Kicking off this list is World 6, Level 2. This level has Mario riding spine coasters. For the first ride, along the way, several Goombas will make their way onto the coaster with Mario, and as always, he should either avoid or kill them. Once the coaster stops moving, Mario will see the pipe to the next area. And that's all. Not much, right? Well, the second ride makes up for that. After Mario boards the second spine coaster, there will be a Dry Bones, which, as I'm sure you know, are very annoying enemies. And as if that wasn't enough, Mario must also watch out for several bob bombs and lava bubbles. That's right, despite having the same premise, the second ride is harder than the first. You know, because of all the enemies. I like this level because the spine coaster mechanic is both fun to play and innovative, and that easily makes World 6 Level 2 my fifth favorite level. Fourth place is World 5, Castle. In this level, Mario can proceed only with the fences abundant throughout. He must climb along them and make his way to the end, where Ludwig, this level's boss, is waiting. It's not quite as simple as that, however. Some fences are special. They move along rails, and their position can be changed. To do this, Mario must hit them, mainly for the sake of avoiding hazards. Speaking of which, throughout this level, there are quite a few enemies. This, along with all the lava, makes things a bit harder for Mario. Once Mario gets past all that and reaches the door at the end, he'll make his way to Ludwig, and the boss battle will begin. To win, Mario must use the cannons to shoot himself into Ludwig, who will be hanging from chains in the air, then stomp his head while he's dizzy. Once done three times, Mario is the victor. But wait, Mikoro Gliscor 472, doesn't Ludwig fight back? Well, duh, of course he does. Every boss fights back in some way. He'll shoot wand blasts at Mario, and the more damage he's taken, the more blasts he'll fire. This level is really fun with an epic boss fight. And that, sir, is a perfect combination. World 5 Castle, fourth place is easily yours. Coming in at third place is World 6, Castle. Yes, the main story's final level. Mario must make his way through the castle, avoiding hazards, using snake blocks to proceed upward and avoid rising lava, and... Well, actually, that's it. These two parts aren't much, but once Mario gets past them, he'll arrive in an area with a huge broken wall, and all the Koopalings will appear. The Koopalings will summon a light that will turn Mario to stone if he's exposed. To avoid this, Mario must hide behind parts of the wall that are still intact, and run while the Koopalings are charging up for another blast. But after this area, in the next one, Mario must dodge Bowser's fire, then run to him and engage in the main story's final boss battle. As is tradition, Mario must get behind Bowser and hit the switch to make him fall down. Once done, Mario will wit- I mean, Princess Peach will be taken away, and Mario will chase after her. Along the way, the Koopalings will reappear, and use their magic to make Bowser grow ten times bigger. To defeat this humongous monstrosity, Mario must use the rising platforms to proceed upward, avoid Bowser's fire, slashes, and lava, and, at the very top, hit the real switch. Once done, Bowser will, for real this time, be defeated, and the princess will be rescued. Bar the first two parts, this level is very fun and epic because of all the battles with Bowser and the Koopalings. It's no secret that World 6 Castle is easily third place. Running up is World Star Castle. This level is pretty much the exact same as World 6 Castle. 
except for the first two parts. Mario must run along and, when the time comes, hide behind intact wall segments to avoid turning to stone when the Koopalings summon their magical flash. After this, there will be a short leg in which Mario must avoid grinders, and after that, he must again avoid the Koopalings' magic flashes. However, this time, Mario's riding a snake block, so timing is crucial here. After getting through all that, Mario will arrive at the final door and must again dodge Bowser's fire. Except this time, it's blue fire, and after that, he will greet ba- Wait, I mean, Dry Bowser. I guess that explains why the fire is blue, and engage him in a boss battle. But you already knew that. Once again, Mario must get behind Dry Bowser, hit the switch, and make him fall down. However, the exact same thing's gonna happen. The Koopalings will magically make Dry Bowser grow 10 times bigger. And again, Mario, using the rising platforms, must make his way upward, while avoiding Dry Bowser's fire and slashes and lava. Once at the top, hit the big switch, defeat Dry Bowser. Once all done, Mario is victorious and level will be clear. Yet again, a fun level to play with epic boss battles. But you may be wondering why I put this level above World 6 Castle. It's because there are no boring trials to endure beforehand. This is why World Star Castle is my second favorite level hands down. Nut the Soul finally, number one. It's from World 5, and requires a secret exit to be accessed. Also, it's a one-of-a-kind level. It's none other than World 5, level A. Mario will see, wait for it, a golden airship, which to get through the level, he must keep up with. This level is the best example of New Super Mario Bros. 2's Gold Rush effect. Mario can attack a Koopa Troopa and throw its shell onto the airship. This'll make it bounce back and forth, and if a gold ring is active, the shell will leave a trail of coins behind, which it'll collect each time it bounces back towards them. Nothing beats free coins, am I right? Mario can also add to this coin collecting effect by stomping other Koopas and Paratroopas throughout the level. Also, the level lasts quite long and there are coins everywhere. This translates to many 1-ups. As is the case with every non-fortress or castle level, Mario will eventually reach the end and tag the flagpole, finishing the level. Yeah, compared to numbers 2 and 3, this is not a lot, but the extreme gold rush, combined with the one-of-a-kind airship, makes me love this level so much. Also, I'm gonna say some words. Some new Super Mario Bros. levels are just too awesome for words. Now put those words together. But you just said this level's too awesome for words! Don't tease me, man. Anyway, with all this, as even a blind person could see, World 5 Level A is indubitably my number one favorite new Super Mario Bros. 2 level of all time. So there you have it, my top 5 favorite new Super Mario Bros. 2 levels of all time. For more vids like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my social media, links are in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, see you next time. Mikoro Glyscore 472, out.